Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mackie from Tech Flash, and today we're gonna take a look at the Lineage OS 15 for the Redmi Note 4. So, without any further ado, let's get in. So before we proceed any further in this video, make sure you have installed the latest version of the TWRP and copied the ROM as well as the G apps to your phone. Once you have ensured all this, just go into the recovery mode by pressing and holding the power button as well as the volume up button. Once in the TWRP, go into the wipe, then go into the advanced wipe and then select Dalvi card cache, system, data. Do not select the internal storage or the micro SD card depending upon where you have copied the ROM and the G apps and then select the cache and then swipe on swipe to wipe. So here we can see the wiping has been successfully completed. Then go into the install tab. Then navigate to where you have copied the ROM and the G apps. In my case, it is into the internal storage itself. We can see here the Lineage OS and the G apps. Now select the Lineage OS and then swipe on swipe to confirm the flash. So now the TWRP is flashing the Lineage OS 15 onto my phone and it takes about like a couple of minutes or so to do that. Once the installation of the ROM is successfully done, then again go back and then select the G apps and then again swipe on swipe to confirm the flash. So now the TWRP is flashing the open G apps. Make sure that you download the G apps for the Android Oreo 8.0 and not any other versions because they will not work as the Lineage OS is based on the Android Oreo 8.0. In my case, I'm using the micro package. You can select any other that you want. Once the installation of the G apps is done, then tap on reboot system. You will be asked if you want to install the TWRP app or not. It is upon your choice. And now we should be booted into the Lineage OS ROM. So here you can see this is the Lineage OS boot animation. As this is the first boot, this might take a while. So this is the startup screen that we get with the Lineage OS and you can select the language which you want here directly. And then I'll just quickly go into the vision settings and then set the display size to the different one. So I'll just quickly set it to small because that's what I like. Then you can also set the magnification and font size at the startup itself. Now we'll just go back and hit on let's go. So I'll just quickly complete all the startup settings and be back. And now we are booted into the Lineage OS. So here you can see onto the notification panel. So going to the top, you can see the VOLT and the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth is working. You can turn these settings on and off from this new quick access panel. So this is the latest quick access panel that we get with the Android Oreo 8.0. So these are all the quick settings that we are presented with. You can edit them by pressing onto this edit button and just drag the settings that you want on this quick access panel. Now I'll just quickly go into the settings. So you can see this is the new settings that we get with the Android Oreo 8.0. So I'll just quickly go into the system and then quickly go into the about phone. Here we can see the model name is Redmi Note 4, Android version is 8.0.0. I'll just quickly tap on this and show you the Oreo animation. Now I'll show you around the settings that we get with this ROM. So here we have some suggested setups like Google Voice and all. Now I'll go into the network and internet and my phone is connected to my home Wi-Fi and the mobile network is set to Geo. In the connected devices, you will get the information about the connected devices to your phone. I'll just quickly show you that the Bluetooth is working and I'll quickly turn it on. And in the notification, there is a Bluetooth icon. So that means the Bluetooth is working. In cache, if any cache devices are connected to your home Wi-Fi, it will show them up there. Then I'll just quickly go into the apps and notifications. 
Here you can set the notification, app permissions and all. It will show you which of the app has access to which of the permissions. Now going into the battery, it's currently at 83% and it is showing about 10 hours are left. In power management, we get the battery saver mode. If you turn this on, it will save the battery. The battery percentage settings, you can turn this on and off as per your requirements. There's adaptive brightness also if you want, which will automatically set the brightness as per the environment. Then going into the display view again have the option for the adaptive brightness. Then going into the advanced display settings. Here we can set the device rotation, font size, display size, screen saver, ambient display, tap to wake up and all. I just quickly lock my phone and check if the double tap to wake up is working or not. So the double tap to wake up is working on this ROM. Into the sound settings, we get access to the media volume, alarm volume and all of the things. Going into the advanced of the sound settings, here you can toggle the dial pad tone, screen locking sound, charging sounds and all of this stuff. Now going into the storage settings, as I didn't format the internal storage, it's showing that 20.6 GB is used out of the 32 GB. The storage manager is also there, you can manage all of the storage from here. Now I'll just quickly show you around the camera app that we get with this ROM. So the camera is working pretty smoothly on this ROM. Let's just quickly go into the settings of this camera app. In resolution and quality, the front and the back camera app are set to the full pixels. In video settings for the back camera, we have options for the Ultra HD 4K, 1080p and 720p. And for the front cam, we have 1080p, 720p and 480p options. With Android Oreo 8.0 installed under the Redmi Note 4, we get all the sweet animations of the ROM. And these are some of the minor changes. So now I have installed the pixel launcher for this ROM and I'll be providing a link to that also in the description. So the Google now is working and you can also set up the Google assistant if you want. I'll just quickly show you that the ambient display is also working. There we go. So this is a pretty stable ROM and you can use as a daily driver if you want. I will be making a full review of this ROM after using it for a week or so. So that's pretty much about this video guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll catch you guys in the next one.